A Tigerland property that caught fire last night and has a history of crime is in the process of foreclosing and it will be seized by U.S. Marshals in January. Two on your side, Brittany Wise has more on what's happening behind the scenes. Two buildings went up in flames last night. Just before 6 p.m. this evening to uh, 4445 Alvin Dark. A pot left on the stove started it. Displacing eight people right before Christmas. The dark days keep following Tiger Plaza. Police have been called there over 260 times this year, over 400 times last year. Up until last week, Monica Sandlin lived there. A lot of people don't feel safe there. She contacted me last month about her concerns. We've had police officers at the apartment complex once or twice a week, and that's for other things, you know, things I don't know about. And it's been on the radar of District Attorney Hiller Moore, sending the current management company a letter requesting they make changes. We're hopeful that they'll turn it around. That's what Moore said in November. Now, I'm learning that the property owner is facing foreclosure for basically, according to court documents, not abiding by the mortgage terms, which include failure to make monthly payments and complete property improvements. The borrower, Earl Alvin LLC has already racked up at least $44,000 in late fees. A federal judge has ordered the property be seized by the U.S. Marshal and Tri Guild Property Management LLC be keeper of the property. <clears throat> there are about 300 units in Tiger Plaza. Of those, few are occupied by paying tenants. The apartment directly next to me has squatters in it. The apartment directly above me has squatters in it. Last month, I've killed black widows and brown recluses around my door. It lost its Section 8 certification. Something needs to be done with this complex. They're collecting the money for rent, and yet they're not doing anything to actually put the rent where it's supposed to go to. And that appears to have caught up with the new owners, who are now in the hole for thousands. Two on your side in Baton Rouge, Brittany Weiss, WBRZ News 2. The U.S. Marshal says it is seizing the property for the mortgage company after the first of the year.